So this is the story that comes true. As I am getting older, I go work at Coca-Cola. I'm carrying Coke cases because I don't have any other jobs offered to me because I can't even write up my license. I get the job as a Coca-Cola employee, summer, get a full-time job because I have to work now, parents are gone. I go to the, the, the guy at Coca-Cola tells me, see, everything's possible. You have to believe in yourself. You have to, if you want to work at Coca-Cola, you have to drive the truck, which I've never driven a truck before, but you got to get your license. So I go and uh, how am I going to fill up a sheet? I don't even know what's saying on it. I do understand some words, but I'm very confused. So I tell the person in front of me, I said, I need this job. I'm not going to get into an hour story with you. I lost both parents very quickly. I need to support my two sisters. I really need this job, and I'm having a hard time. I'm nervous. I'm having a hard time to read with. Could you help me out? It helps me, fills out everything, and gives me an opportunity to get the license and work at Coca-Cola. And my wife helped me tremendously. Uh, Debbie, what's this word saying? And the whole phrase. And I learned it. Now I can write and read uh, French and English. And uh, it's like you go to school to learn. There's people who are 50 and 60 are going back to school and they're learning and they're starting to write and read. So it was tough, but I asked a lot of questions. We all have a right to dream. We have goals. There's people who set goals on Tuesday, let them go on Wednesday, because Tuesday was too hard. There's people who have dreams to want to become something, and they stop dreaming because as soon as they see that it's going to be hard to achieve, they just don't go for it. You've got to fight for everything you want in life. Nothing's given to you. If you expect things to be given to you, you just ain't going to get it. The only way, if you win the lotto or your dad was uh, some kind of rich guy and he left you some money or something like that, but normal people have to work hard to get what they want and certainly to earn a good living. And now today, I, I sit in the, in the airport and I read and I, I'm writing at times some words I ask questions, but I, I am not afraid anymore. I, it's, it's like a burden, a big rock off my shoulder, a big brick that I eliminated because I now I'm not afraid that people know I ask questions and in the last seven years I'm so much more improved because now I'm not afraid to say hey what is this tell me and I pick it up